many lovers, it's Allie, and today I'm here to announce that gray was the color wallpaper you guys all chose, and I think that's a great choice. So we're going to go with gray. Um, I wanted to, first, I was filming, and of course it wasn't recording, so I got a step ahead, so I just want to catch you guys up. Hold on. Okay, so here's the studio, and what I did was I took a couple pieces of um, just printer paper, and I lined it up in the back to get the uh, dimensions of what the piece of wallpaper will be for back there. I thought about doing it in strips, like real wallpaper, but I just... <laughs> The cut, to be honest, the blade in my paper cutter is um, dull, and I, it would just be too much to do a bunch of little strips and hope that they came out um, even. Um, so let's go over to the wallpaper. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and traced the pattern onto the wallpaper. So... The thing with this is that I'm going to have the ceiling, which is dropped down a little bit, and I have some floor molding, which is going to cover up this edge. So really, the most important measurements are this, to here to here. But again, it's these are the corners, so for right now, I can overlap the corners. So if they're a little bit big, the next piece for this wall can cover it. So we're going to go ahead and start with this. Now, you're saying there's a window in that wall. Well, to be honest, right now, I don't know if I'm keeping the windows. So I'm going to cover them up. Um, to be determined in another video, I have a very big bookcase that could probably is probably at least would fit up against this wall, which is what I'm thinking of putting it. So for right now, I'm going to ignore those two windows and just cut out the wallpaper for the three walls. Actually, it's going to be four walls, but um, the fourth wall is the actual door of the dollhouse, which so that might come at a later time. So let's get started. I'm going to cut this out and we'll put in the first piece. Okay, so I'm just using regular scissors. Um, I can't use, like I said, my paper cutter. The blade is very dull. So it did, uh, I did try it with my, the pattern that I made, and it, it kind of just wrinkled up the paper at one point, and it wasn't very crisp. So while that worked okay for the pattern, um, I, it wouldn't, it would just be a waste of wallpaper. So I'm just going to cut this out, be as precise as I can, and then we're going to go and put it up on the wall. So now what I'm using is, um, I'm going to use this clear gel, Aileen's Tacky Glue. Um, I've never used it before. As you can see, I'm cutting off the tip right now. Um, I did go ahead, you can't really see because it's very light, and uh, I kind of, maybe you can see a little bit, I kind of traced where the window was. I held my hand this way and just kind of drew the window, just so I don't put glue there because it's not necessary. And uh, there we go. I'm just going to tape it on. <sighs> this is it. This is going to be like for real, I'm wondering if I should go ahead and cut the other walls first before I glue. Nah, we're just going to go ahead and do it. Alright, so I'm going to glue this up and we'll follow up over there because I'm going to smooth this all out. I was actually thinking of maybe using Mod Podge because it's, hmm, what should I do? Hang on a second. I gotta decide. Okay, I've decided to go with the Aileen's 
and uh, just a regular old paintbrush, just a cheap paintbrush. And I'm going to try it that way. Now, I remember I was talking about somebody had told me to use wallpaper paste. Well, I have not been able to find wallpaper paste that's not in a gigantic tub unless I bought it from a dollhouse supply. And in, to tell you the truth, I just figured I would try this first. <laughs> Um, I know I'm sort of ignoring somebody's advice, but sometimes you got to just use what you got. So, hoping that I really, really want this to look good. I was thinking about doing this as a live, <laughs> but then I said, you know what? It might not come out good. Um, I was watching a live the other day uh, for Bentley House Minis. Aira was doing a live on her, I think it was her, yeah, her kitty litter uh, box thing for the uh, spaceship. Oops. Now, this is really, really, I know it says it's tacky, but it is, I'm wondering if a little water might have helped a little, spread it out. No fettuccine. All right, let's go over to the house. Made it just before the cat got there. Okay, so I am going to try and do this. And I hope that you can see, I'm sorry. If I'm in the way, it's just I need to kind of get around the tripod to get in there. Okay, that's not too bad. Now, remember the ceiling is going to cover. I have to get something to smooth this out. Let me get like a card or a piece of board. Uh, kitties, do not lick the glue. This is what I had the glue on. Now, I did not put the ceiling in for this reason, and I had it actually just sitting on the top floor here, and the cats got the door open to the front of the dollhouse, and did a little damage to that ceiling. So this morning, I went and fixed that. And it is drying. I used some air dry clay to fix the area where there were a few teeth marks and a chunk taken out. So here, let's lean in. Hmm, I like it. I'm going to try and get the light on this camera to work. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, I don't know how well you can see that. Um, but that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Now you can see I made the lines going vertical. I figured that would look the best than going horizontal. Um, and I also am doing the full wall. Because if you remember, I, I had discussed possibly doing like a, um, a chair rail with maybe some wainscoting. I can always go back and do that over this but I can't if I didn't like the Wayne's coating I couldn't you know finish the wall so I figured I'll just put it up there um, and when I start to actually bring in all of the furniture and uh, you know and decide where the bookcase is going to be I was toying with fireplace um, I can always go back if I uh, think I, I would like some Wayne's coating all right, so now I am just going to go and do the other two walls, and then we'll see what we got. Okay, so in case you didn't know what I was doing, I'm just taking now the, the little pattern that I used for the back. 
because that will work now for, hold on, I got some tape on my hands, um, that will work for the floor to ceiling and that one sharp edge in the corner. So I'm going to, oh, look at that, it almost makes it to the door. That's interesting. Tape it up. And this is how I also did the, the floor and the ceiling um, to make sure that it was right. Now I have to get my head in here to look and see because something is not quite lining up. So hang on. Okay, so I fixed it. I cut this little section up here and I folded this in. Um, that'll tell me where the door is. Again, th they'll be molding that goes around this door and on the inside so I'm not really concerned if it's a little off but um, can't be a whole lot off so then I'm just taking another piece of paper and I am trying there's a cat flying around the room right now that's one of the other reasons I, I haven't done a live yet it's because I know the cats will just wreak havoc and drive people crazy okay trying to crease the bottom I cut this piece off now I'm not closing that doorway off I'm just right now just trying to get the floor to ceiling height say hello to Linguini while I cut She's assisting, I guess. But her tail is in the way. Your tail's in the way. Okay. Good. Mm, it seems like just a little bit. Really? She's rubbing on everybody. Okay, come on. You gotta come out. You gotta come out. It's just a little bit off. I prefer to use post-it notes for this, but I'm out. Um, post-it notes are just easy because they have the stick on them already, and you can stick it to the wall, you could stick them to themselves and make it a lot faster. Um, but. It's Sunday, and Sunday is my pajama day, which means I don't leave the house. So, I'm just going to take a little bit smidgy off of this. Literally just a little smidgy. Yeah, and I can see it now better. Okay. So, I'm going to tape this up. And then we will have our pattern. I'm going to trace the door from the other side. But you just tape this up. Let me get some tape. My tape is extra sticky today. Okay. Now, it doesn't really matter how you tape it. Just get them all stuck on there. And if you allow yourself a little bit more, um, you know, on the pattern, you could always just trim stuff off. But if you cut it too short, then, you know, you can't, it, you can't add. I assume you can add. I don't know how good it would look, though. All right, so I'm just going to peel this down now. Oh, wait, I forgot to do the door. Okay. I get a pencil. Okay, the cat stole my pencil. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm, go, I'm going in through this side, and I'm going to trace the door. You, you can also just put the paper on and then cut, you know, a slit. But I'm just going to try and hold it as still as I can. And sorry, you really can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just kind of going along the door here. 
And the pencil's going right through. <laughs> but there we go. I got a basic shape of the window. And I will freshen that lead up so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so there is a line here that I could see. I'm just going to do it quick. Oh, no, I'm not. My knife disappeared. Okay, this is that Timu knife. Let's see if that works. Nope. By the way, that sucks. Don't use those Timu knives. Just go back to a pencil and a scissor. Just do it the old fashioned way. Now you can see a bigger and better line there. I know where to cut again. It doesn't have to be precise. Now on this, I've got the fold here, so I'll be able to just go down this, break the lead, try again. I do love mechanical pencils, but that is one of the drawbacks. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut out the door. I'm going to trace it onto the paper. You guys don't need to watch me do that. And then we'll put that one in. Okay, so I wanted to show you where I'm running into a problem. Let's raise up the tripod so you can maybe have a look. Um, I'm using the same piece of wallpaper. Now, I got three pieces, so I could feasibly just go to another piece. Um, but here's my pattern. Boy, that's really bright and washed out. Let me darken that up a bit. Okay. So here's my pattern with the door cut out, and here's my paper. Now we know this, this measurement is the same as that, actually. So when I line it up, because the lines are going this way on the wallpaper, and we need them all to go the same way, which means I can't turn the paper and use this side. That way, I have to use it this way. So I have almost enough. This this little piece right here um, is going to be out of the pattern. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to take a separate piece and make this piece because it is behind, kind of behind where you can't really see it that close. Um, and I think this is a better use of wallpaper because I do have to do the fourth wall, which is the door. Let me show you. Okay, so this part also has to be wallpapered. So since I only have three sheets, I'm going to be conservative and save a final sheet for that because that's pretty large section. It just really has to go around. There will be a window seat in there and I will not be I don't think I will be uh, wallpapering the inside there. Maybe I will. So I really want to be conservative with the paper, and I will just do this for this one little piece. Okay, so that's how we're going to do it. We're going to line this up, line it up on the top, really match the corner good, and that's good. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut this. Cut this piece. Okay. And then just, whoops, trace another thing when you have the post-its and they're overlapped they're a little bit more stronger than this one so 
that's how the pattern goes. Oops, I forgot to do the bottom line, so now we got to go back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this and cut this out, and then we will put this in and see how it looks. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, now I have to, hang on, I have to move the tripod. Hopefully you can see a little better, like that. Now, I've put the glue on. Uh, nope, I can't tell if that's pushed in all the way. Now, this is another thing about this wallpaper. For those of you that have seen the haul for this paper, it is such nice quality. And it doesn't really feel like paper. Like, I don't know if that I can manipulate anything that was more, like, papery with this glue. I'm trying to overlap the corner because I saw a little, little bit of a screw-up. I don't know if it's a screw-up, really. Just it wasn't lined up right. Yeah, it's just not lining up right. So, I'm going to take it off. And you can see it comes off pretty easily. I'm going to try and really pay attention to the doorway, I guess. And i got to do it quick because the, the glue is drying. So, I'm hoping I can smooth it back. Yes, that's it. Another good thing, which I just found out while I was applying the glue. Sorry, the camera's rubbing up against the door. I've got glue on my hands. Anyway, the thing about this glue is you can add a little water to it to get it to like kind of move better. That piece I'll have to trim. Because um, it is tacky thus being called tacky glue so it kind of as you use in the brush it kind of like sticks because you really do have to spread it out or you will see the lumps now you could see I let me move the tripod a little bit I added that piece before I, I, I attached it to the other piece before I put the glue on and before I obviously glued it in I could have done it after but I wanted to make sure it lined up. Now the ceiling is a little loose, but I've got that drop ceiling going here, so I don't think you're going to notice that. There. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to spend a couple minutes just re repeating, smoothing this over, because I did move it. I want to make sure that it's really glued down. Okay, so there it is. Did make one little mistake on uh, when I did this side, and you can see it right. Where's my finger? Right over here. I uh, I had it upside down. <laughs> I had it facing the other way, so it didn't fit exactly right. Um, so when you do, if you do multiples of these, just think ahead and write top and bottom or left and right or whatever. Because um, I did have to pull it off. So I ripped it a little bit, but you know what? It's right in the corner here, and what I'll probably do is just put something there. Put a hat stand or an umbrella stand or something. Something there. But happy with the way it turned out. This little shiny spot. I'm still smoothing it out a little bit. Um, you can see that there's a little bit white up at the top, but like I said, the ceiling, the drop ceiling is going to be um, covering that up, so I'm not really that concerned. But I'm happy with the way it looks. It's definitely a nice neutral against the heavy dark floor and the the copper ceiling. And of course the, the 
the drop the uh, copper ceiling once it's up and there's the doorway yeah so I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out what do you guys think we happy with the gray everybody seemed to like the gray most most of the votes were for gray so I like it and I'm liking the texture that it kind of gives Next step is to actually start figuring out where all the furniture is going to go and uh, work on that. I have a desk kit from uh, Bentley House Minis. It's actually, I think it's the captain's, maybe it's the captain's desk. I'm not sure. Um, I also do have some windows, so I am debating on what to do with those. Um... As soon as I figure out where the bookcase is going to go, and then we'll work on staining, all right? So maybe we'll do that in a live. We'll figure out what where that's going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was a short and kind of simple task, but it's taken me weeks to actually just get up the time to just do this little thing, and it wasn't as hard as I thought it might be. <laughs> So, if you're working on a dollhouse, just go for it. I'm sure there's lots of things you can do to fix any kind of mistakes. And it's, you know what? Just do it. Alright guys, have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video. We're getting close to a thousand subscribers. I can't believe it. And um, so share this video if you know somebody that likes miniatures. Share my channel and give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.